Right now, cars that have three or more people can use the I-77 express lanes as high occupancy vehicles, but some people are violating that rule. Anchor Genevieve Curtis is in the studio tonight to explain the new effort to try to catch them. Yeah, Erica, there's going to be a new way to catch people in those express lanes, a new technology for people who are trying to ride for free. This technology targets those who switch their transponder, claiming they're carpooling when they're not. If you won't want to sit in traffic, you'll pay. It. Drivers like Al Davis are paying to use the express lane, but others aren't paying for it and using it anyway. I always wondered how they were able to find out how people because I've seen people from other states with different license plates in the toll lane. So I was like, how are they paying for it? We first told you in October Highway Patrol is seeing a major spike in the number of drivers sneaking into the express lanes, claiming they're carpooling so they don't have to pay. They're switching their transponders into high occupancy vehicle mode, even without the extra passengers. You not only need one other person, you need two other persons in the vehicle to declare yourself that high occupancy vehicle. Now the express lane will be adding new camera technology to determine the number of people in the car. They'll compare those images to the setting on the car's transponder. I-77 Mobility Partners says facial images captured will automatically be blurred by the cameras for privacy purposes. I honestly, I would have thought there were cameras already. I reached out to I-77 Mobility Partners who said law enforcement will still patrol the lanes for HOV enforcement. To make everybody pay for the toll that they use. Now I asked when this enforcement is going to start. I'm told the cameras need to be installed first. Then there will be a testing phase. So right now there isn't an exact start date at the moment.